Yes guys, what is up? Welcome to Supercars of London on a very hot Sardinian day where five and a half years ago to this day, I was on this very island in my own 2017 rear wheel drive orange hurricane. So it is only right that I picked the orange Hurricane Technica that we had at our disposal, courtesy of Lamborghini and the lounge that they have set up here in Northern Sardinia. And today we've got the opportunity of driving this and a Hurricane STO to compare the two back to back, but it hasn't quite gone according to plan. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I do have some loose belongings in the passenger seat and there are no carpets in the Technica, which must come from the STO. We'll see how we get on. say that the 5.2 litre V10 is just as exhilarating in 2022 as it was in 2017 on this island as it was in 2014 when the hurricane came out but this is the most hardcore road going track inspired hurricane one of the last of the production line in the order book for the Technica is already closed. I have just had the best version of deja vu. I have driven this road in my hurricane five years ago. I was in the north of Sardinia cruising down this road with Sam, James and Seb and I remember thinking to myself and have told many people since that it feels like you are driving through Jurassic Park through the north of Sardinia. This is the coolest thing seeing this road from my point of view behind the steering wheel of a Lamborghini Huracan in 2022 having done this five years ago in my own car this is such a cool moment I wondered whether I would drive roads that were similar or even the same to what we had driven a few years ago and this is one of them a dead straight road where you get a perfect view of where you're going with trees either side you genuinely expect okay albeit there are a lot of cars on the road at this given given moment we did it bright and early in the morning but you feel like dinosaurs could come out at any second oh, to come back I wondered if on this trip the nostalgia would hit me of being back in not only a rear wheel drive hurricane but I wondered whether we would drive the roads that we drove back in 2017 and here we are on the main road that we drove through the island and one of my most memorable moments in that Lamborghini hurricane was driving through what I call Jurassic Park and we're here. Now just as I have experienced deja vu on this road but approximately five kilometers in that direction I shut my GoPro off and have met up with the Lamborghini team where I am swapping this beautiful shade of orange for the Hurricane Technica for this a much more accurate shade of orange to my Arancio Borelius Hurricane rear wheel drive and this is going to take me on the second part of this road trip which continues in that direction and it is very very loud the engines are running on this car some of the guys are going out in the Technica that I've just driven to take some photos and it is safe to say that the locals are loving this presence from Lamborghini if I spin the camera around now it's not quite a crowd but there's still quite a few people this is causing a bit of a stir the colors are beautiful and it is now time to move on into this beast I love the fact that it's got pretty much no livery whatsoever it is just the classic orange from a Lamborghini having a bright orange Lamborghini out in Sardinia on these roads is absolute automotive perfection in my eyes 
and in my heart, the Murcielago to me was the pinnacle of automotive connection and emotional attachment between man, being me, and car. And since then, there has not been a single car that I have looked at and lusted after or wanted because it will never achieve those heights. So in a way, obtaining and owning and achieving my dream of owning that Murcielago LP640 has completely ruined the other side past the LP640. What is next? I'm gonna to have to go and buy another Murcielago if I wanna get anywhere near the same emotional attachment to a car that I can't get from anywhere else. Lamborghini are the only manufacturer that bring my heart rate close to that Murcielago experience. The Gallardo Superleggera, nearly there. The Hurricane Technica and the Hurricane STO, fundamentally on these roads, exactly the same car. The STO then on a track will probably put outperform the Technica, but very slightly. And it has been moments like these, creating memories behind the wheel of a Lamborghini that is just tiptoeing around what my Murcielago ownership was like. And I didn't quite appreciate the LP640. As much as I did whilst I had it, it wasn't until I sold it just how much that car meant to me as part of the journey that is irreplaceable. Irreplaceable to the point where my love for super sports cars, supercars and hypercars has, has dipped because I know I'm never gonna reach those Mercilago heights. Whilst this day and 24 hours has not gone according to plan, there is an emotional and nostalgic element to being in a bright orange rear wheel drive hurricane on the north of Sardinia, where I had one of my first real epic driving experiences from behind the wheel of a supercar that I will remember forever. And to revisit that is one of those moments in my life that I never thought I needed, but to actually experience it has been a massive tick to be able to realize these special moments in my life and to realize how lucky I am to be able to live and then relive these moments. And I think today I've learned something about myself. I've learned how special that Mercy Largo was to me and maybe the world of supercars has moved on and changed and maybe I've grown up since ticking that dream box and the Murcielago was the pinnacle for me and there is nothing else past that. I don't know. I just love driving Lamborghinis and I don't think I'll be truly happy unless I have another one. Just like in Corsica, we are taking the Hurricane off-road whether we like it or not. Oh, this is unintentional. Very unintentional. My Google Maps is freaking out. This is not ideal. The nose lift is up, but is that going to help? I have no idea. I've got no phone signal. Um, so I'm a little bit lost. Probably turn traction control off though. Ah, oh, this is a disaster. That is not the way back to the hotel. It's exactly what happened the last time that I was out in Sardinia with the DBX 707. You follow the Google Maps and the road, as in the tarmac part of the road just ends. The road continues the tarmac ends. These guys just don't finish roads out here. And this is another prime example of how I've fundamentally ended up on a dirt track in a car that is actually quite capable. Even though it's rear wheel drive, the nose lift gives you a lot of elevation on the front. But we've got about 30 minutes, I reckon, before the sun sets. And I need to get back to the hotel because I've got an appointment with the photographer. But not the way that I intended on finishing this video but it's not the video I intended on filming at all. I was supposed to be on the Techno Mar yacht in Sardinia. A Hurricane STO and Technica are not bad compromises, but I will leave it there, guys. Making more memories in V10s in bright orange 
that are rear wheel drive in Sardinia. If you have the opportunity of coming out here on holiday, rent a car because it is one of the most beautiful places to drive around and I'm truly lucky, lucky and honoured combining the two words together there to be doing it in something so ridiculous as that but I need to turn around I've got this bug flying all over me it's probably chewing my knuckles off so I will leave it there guys thank you very much for watching I will see you soon take care goodbye